Good day and God bless you and welcome to the Bible reading in chronological order. Just such a privilege to have you with us again and for joining. I pray that the Lord would bless you even as we would go through his word together. Please feel free also to invite your friends and family members to join us in the Bible reading and go through the word of God together. It is such a blessing to have you all join and participate with us. Today we're still busy in the first book of the Chronicles and we're going to be focusing on chapters 3, 4, and 5. So let's get straight into it. We see that chapter 3 deals with the sons of David and the sons of David are listed and his line is shared to Zedekiah. The successors of Jeconiah are also listed. Now this is important and we understand this, you know, when we're going through the lines of the kings and, all, and, and, and the lines of all of the people that were important in history, it's, as we discussed, there is so much depth in there. We might not get to all of the depth now and definitely not with the reading as, uh, as we're going through it now. But do not think that this is not profitable for doctrine. The Bible says all of Scripture is profitable for doctrine. So in some way, there is something to glean from even this. So I pray that the Lord would give us understanding even as we would go through it. But just do not get bored with the, with the going through the names and going through the lineages. It's important that we go through it and just keep an open mind. Remember your types, remember the pictures and then we can join things together and find out patterns within there as well and how that relates then to the bigger story of the gospel. Then we get to chapter 4, and chapter 4 deals with the posterity of Judah. And we are told of Asher, the son of Hezron, and then we go through Jabez and his prayer for blessing. Now this is very interesting, and I know it's become a huge thing in modern Christian in the modern Christian world where uh, the prayer of Jabez is really focused on. Now, I don't want to focus on just the doctrine of praying for blessing and asking the Lord for blessing all the time. Remember, when you go through this, read the verses before, read the verses after as well. See the state that he's in. See the state that his mother is in. And that he's, uh, you know, look at the lineage. Look at his brothers and, and, and his uh, family as well. And then look at his prayer for blessing and understand where it's coming from, out of what a place it's coming from. Always understand the context before you build doctrine on something. And that's important. That is not to say that we can't pray for blessing. Yes, we, we always pray for the, for the blessing of the Lord. But we have to understand as well where we need to be in honor of the covenant. We went through the Psalms yesterday and we saw the sons of Korah, even as they are writing this song, and they say, but Lord, we haven't departed from your way. We haven't done this. We haven't taken ourselves idols. And yet they had done all of those things. So just remember where you are and remember that, uh, you know, when you come to the Lord with a clear conscience, that's when you have confidence in prayer. We're going to get to that when we get to the book of First John. Anyway, then we get to chapter 5. And in this chapter, we read about the line of Reuben and their habitation. But there's something very interesting about Reuben that we see here. Reuben was the firstborn son of Jacob. He was born to Leah, and we see that uh, he, he would have inherited the birthright. He would have inherited the kingship that would have come from there. But Reuben messed up pretty badly. And so the birthright was stripped from him, as well as that royal line was stripped from him. And the birthright of Reuben was given to Joseph, who was the firstborn son of Rachel. And then the kingship or the royal line was taken from him, was given to Judah. Now, very important that we understand this because there is something so beautiful in this. When we look at the prophecies of the Messiah in the Old Testament, we can clearly see that there are two distinct sets of prophecies for the Messiah. There was the Messiah who would be the suffering servant. Messiah, the son of Joseph, as it's recorded in the rabbinical studies. If you, look, if you look through rabbinical studies, they will often talk about Meshiach ben Yosef. And so the prophecies that speak about the Messiah, but specifically uh, the Messiah in the light of being the son of Joseph, who was regarded as the suffering servant. But then you also had all of the prophecies in the Old Testament, which related to the Messiah being the son of David, who would be the king ruler of Israel. 
And so that's so beautiful then because uh, Judah, he was the father of David. David was from the tribe of Judah. And amazingly, we went through that as well, that it had to be 10 generations after uh, Judah had, had had a son with Tamar. So very important then that uh, the Messiah would fill both those roles. He would be the suffering servant from, you know, the, so he would inherit the birthright which belonged to Joseph and then he would be the son of David so he would inherit the kingship or the royal line which was given to Judah. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And, and that's such a blessing and I really wanted to add it in there and just uh, go through it uh, in this light. But that's where we're going to leave the reading today. I pray that the Lord would bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he give you peace. God bless you even as you would enjoy the reading today. Chapter 3 Now these were the sons of David which were born unto him in Hebron. The firstborn Amnon of Ahinoam the Jezreelitess, the second Daniel of Abigail the Carmelitess, the third Absalom the son of Maacah the daughter of Talmai king of Geshur, the fourth Adonijah the son of Haggith, the fifth Shephatiah of Abital, the sixth Ithraim by Eglah his wife. These six were born unto him in Hebron. And there he reigned seven years and six months. And in Jerusalem he reigned thirty and three years. And these were born unto him in Jerusalem. Shimea and Shobab and Nathan and Solomon, four, of Bathshua the daughter of Amuel. Ibhar also, and Elishama and Eliphalet, and Noga and Nepheg and Japhiah, and Elishama and Eliada and Eliphalet, nine. These were all the sons of David, beside the sons of the concubines, and Tamar their sister. And Solomon's son was Rehoboam, Abiah his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Joram his son, Ahaziah his son, Joash his son, Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotham his son, Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son, Ammon his son, Josiah his son. And the sons of Josiah were the firstborn Johanan, the second Jehoiakim, the third Zedekiah, the fourth Shalom. And the sons of Jehoiakim, Jeconiah his son, Zedekiah his son. And the sons of Jeconiah, Asser, Salathiel his son, Malchiram also, and Padiah, and Shenazer, Zechamiah, Hoshema, and Nedabiah. And the sons of Padiah were Zerubbabel and Shimei, and the sons of Zerubbabel, Meshullam and Hananiah, and Shalomith their sister, and Hashuba and Ohel and Berechiah and Hasadiah, Jushab Hesed, five. And the sons of Hananiah, Pelatiah and Josiah, the sons of Rephiah, the sons of Arnon, the sons of Obadiah, the sons of Shechaniah. And the sons of Shechaniah, Shemaiah, and the sons of Shemaiah, Hattush and Igeo and Bariah and Neariah and Shaphat, six. And the sons of Neariah, Elioenai and Hezekiah and Azraikam, three. And the sons of Elioenai were Hodiah and Eliashib and Peliah and Akab and Johanan and Deliah and Anani, seven. Chapter four. The sons of Judah, Perez, Hezron, and Carmi, and Hur, and Shobal. And Reiah, the son of Shobal, begat Jahath, and Jahath begat Ahumai, and Lahad. These are the families of the Zorathites. And these were of the father of Etam, Jezreel, and Ishma, and Idbash. And the name of their sister was Hazelelponai. And Penuel, the father of Gedor, and Ezer, the father of Husha. These are the sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrata, the father of Bethlehem. And Asher, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hela and Neera. And Neera bare him Ahuzam and Hepha and Temanai and Hea Hashterai. These were the sons of Neera. And the sons of Hela were Zereth and Jezoar and Ethnan. And Kaz begat Anub and Zobiba and the families of Aharhel, the son of Haram. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. And Kelob, the brother of Shua, begat Meher, which was the father of Eshton. And Eshton begat Bethrepha and Paseah and Tehinnah, the father of Irnehash. These are the men of Rekah. 
and the sons of Kenaz, Othniel and Sariah, and the sons of Othniel, Hathath. And Meonothai begat Ophra, and Sariah begat Joab, the father of the valley of Karashim, for they were craftsmen. And the sons of Caleb, the son of Jephani, Iru, Elah, and Nahum, and the sons of Elah, even Kenaz. And the sons of Jehalalel, Zip, and Zipha, Tyria, and Asareel. And the sons of Ezra were Jether, and Mered, and Ephah, and Jalon. And she bare Miriam, and Shammai, and Ishba, the father of Eshtemoah. And his wife, Jehudijah, bare Jered, the father of Gedor, and Heber, the father of Soko, and Jekuthiel, the father of Zenoah. And these are the sons of Bithia, the daughter of Pharaoh, which Mered took. And the sons of his wife, Hodiah, the sister of Nahum, the father of Keilah, the Garmite, and Eshtemoah, the Meacathite. And the sons of Shimon were Amnon and Rinna, Ben-Hanan and Tylon. And the sons of Ishai were Zoheth and Ben-Zoheth. The sons of Shelah, the son of Judah, were Ur, the father of Lecha, and Laadah, the father of Marisha, and the families of the house of them that wrought fine linen of the house of Ashbea, and Jokin, and the men of Koziba, and Joash, and Seraph, who had the dominion in Moab, and Jeshub And these are ancient things. These were the potters, and those that dwelt among plants and hedges. There they dwelt with the king for his work. The sons of Simeon were Nemuel, and Jamin, Jareb, Zerah, and Sheol. Shalom his son, Mibsam his son, Mishma his son. And the sons of Mishma, Hamuel his son, Zachar his son, Shimei his son. And Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brethren had not many children, neither did all their family multiply like to the children of Judah. And they dwelt at Beersheba, and Moleda, and Hazer Shul, and at Bilha, and at Ezem, and at Tolad, and at Bethuel, and at Horma, and at Ziklag, and at Beth Markaboth, and Hazar Susim, and at Beth Berei, and at Shearaim. These were their cities unto the reign of David. And their villages were Etam and Ayan, Rimon and Token and Ashan, five cities. And all their villages that were round about the same cities unto Baal. These were their habitations and their genealogy. And Meshobab and Jamlech and Josha the son of Amaziah. And Joel and Jehu the son of Josabiah, the son of Sariah, the son of Asiel. And Elioenai and Jacobah and Jeshohiah and Asiah and Adiel and Jesimiel and Beniah. And Ziza the son of Shiphai, the son of Alan, the son of Jediah, the son of Shimri, the son of Shemaiah. These mentioned by their names were princes in their families, and the house of their fathers increased greatly. And they went to the entrance of Gedor, even unto the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks. And they found fat pasture and good, and the land was wide and quiet and peaceable, for they of Ham had dwelt there of old. And these written by name came in the days of Hezekiah king of Judah and smote their tents and the habitations that were found there and destroyed them utterly unto this day and dwelt in their rooms because there was pasture there for their flocks. And some of them, even of the sons of Simeon, 500 men went to Mount Seir having for their captains Pelatiah and Neariah and Rephiah and Uzziel the sons of Ishai. And they smote the rest of the Amalekites that were escaped and dwelt there unto this day. Chapter 5. Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn, but forasmuch as he defiled his father's bed, his birthright was given unto the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel. And the genealogy is not to be reckoned after the birthright, for Judah prevailed above his brethren, and of him came the chief ruler. But the birthright was Joseph's. The sons, I say, of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, were Hanak and Palu, Hezron and Carmi. The sons of Joel, Shemaiah his son, Gog his son, Shimei his son, Micah his son, Reiah his son, Baal his son, Bera his son, whom Tilgaptonezer, king of Assyria, carried away captive. He was prince of the Reubenites. And his brethren by their families, when the genealogy of the generations was reckoned, were the chief, Jeiel and Zechariah, and Bela the son of Azaz, the son of Shema, the son of Joel, who dwelt in Aroah, even unto Nebo and baal Meon. And eastward he inhabited unto the entering in of the wilderness from the river Euphrates, because their cattle were multiplied in the land of Gilead. And in the days of Saul, they made war with the Hagarites, who fell by their hand, and they dwelt in their tents throughout all the east land of Gilead. And the children of Gad, 
dwelt over against them in the land of Bashan unto Salcah, Joel the chief, and Shapham the next, and Jaani and Shaphat in Bashan. And their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael and Meshalem and Sheba and Jorai and Jachin and Ziah and Heba, seven. These are the children of Abihail, the son of Hurai, the son of Jeroah, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshishai, the son of Jado, the son of Buzz. Ahai, the son of Abdil, the son of Unai, chief of the house of their fathers. And they dwelt in Gilead, in Bashan, and in her towns, and in all the suburbs of Sharon upon their borders. All these were reckoned by genealogies in the days of Jotham, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, king of Israel. The sons of Reuben and the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh, of valiant men, men able to bear buckler and sword, and to shoot with bow, and skillful in war, were four and forty thousand seven hundred and threescore that went out to the war. And they made war with the Hagarites, with Jeter and Nephish and Nodath. And they were helped against them, and the Hagarites were delivered into their hand, and all that were with them. For they cried to God in the battle, and he was entreated of them, because they put their trust in him. And they took away their cattle, of their camels fifty thousand, and of sheep two hundred and fifty thousand, and of asses two thousand, and of men an hundred thousand. For there fell down many slain, because the war was of God. And they dwelt in their steads until the captivity. And the children of the half-tribe of Manasseh dwelt in the land. They increased from Bashan unto Baal Hermon and Sinar, and unto Mount Hermon. And these were the heads of the house of their fathers, even Ephah and Ishai and Eliel and Azrael and Jeremiah and Odaviah and Jadiel, mighty men of valor, famous men, and heads of the house of their fathers. And they transgressed against the God of their fathers and went to whoring after the gods of the people of the land whom God destroyed before them. And the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Paul, king of Assyria, and the spirit of Tilgath Pilneser, king of Assyria, and he carried them away, even the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and brought them unto Hela and Habor and Hera and to the river Gozan unto this day.